today's video, we are going to have a practice problem on how to evaluate limits of exponential functions and we are going to explain everything in details. On example number 1, we have limit of 3 raised to x as x approaches to 4. So to simplify this one, let us just simply substitute the value of x. So this will give us 3 raised to 4 and that is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 will give us 81. So that means to say, you are going to multiply 3, 4 times to itself, and that is 81. On example number 2, we have limit of 2 raised to x as x approaches negative 3. So this will give us 2 raised to negative 3. And to eliminate the negative sign on the exponent, let us write this one as 1 over 2 raised to 3. And that is 1 over 2 raised to 3 is 8. So this will be our answer. In example number 3, we have limit of 5 raised to 2x minus 1 as x approaches to 2. So to simplify, let us have 5 raised to 2 times the value of x which is 2 minus 1. And that is 5. 2 times 2 is 4 minus 1. This will give us 5 raised to 4 minus 1 that is 3. And 5 raised to 3 that is 125. And this will be our answer. On example number 4, we have limit of 3 raised to 2x minus 3 plus 5 as x approaches to 4. So to simplify this one, let us simply substitute the value of x. Let us have 3 raised to 2 times the value of x which is 4 minus 3 plus 5. So let us rewrite the base 3 and 2 times 4 is 8 minus 3 plus 5. And then let us have 3, 8 minus 3, that is 5, plus 5, 3 raised to 5, that means you are going to multiply 3, 5 times to itself, and that is 243 plus 5, 243 plus 5, that is 248, and this will be our answer. In example number 5, we have limit of 1 half raised to x minus 1 plus 1 fourth as x approaches to 1. So to simplify, let us simply substitute the value of x which is 1. So this will give us 1 half raised to 1 minus 1 plus 1 fourth. So let us have 1 half and then 1 minus 1 that is 0 plus 1 fourth. 1 half raised to 0, that is 1, plus 1 fourth. This will give us 1 and 1 fourth, or 4 times 1, that is 4, plus 1, that is 5, and let us copy the denominator, 4. So you can write your answer as 1 and 1 fourth, or 5 over 4. In example number 6, we have limit of 125 raised to 1 over 2x minus 7 plus 2 as x approaches to 5. So to simplify, let us have 125 raised to 1 over 2 times the value of x which is 5 minus 7 plus 2. So we have 125 raised to 1 over 2 times 5 that is 10 minus 7 plus 2. So let us have 125 raised to 1 over 10 minus 7 that is 3 plus 2. 125 raised to 1 third can be written as the cube root of 125 plus 2. So the cube root of 125 that is 5 and then plus 2 this will give us 7. This will be our answer. For example number 7, we have limit of 2 raised to negative x minus 4 raised to negative x all over x as x approaches negative 2. So to simplify, let us simply substitute the value of x. This is 2 raised to negative x, that is negative 2, minus 4 raised to negative x, which is negative 2, all over negative 2. And to simplify this one, let us write 2 as the base negative times negative 2 that is positive 2 minus 4 negative times negative 2 that is positive 2 
all over negative 2. So let us have 2 raised to 2, which is 4, minus 4 squared is 16, all over negative 2. And let us have 4 minus 16, that is negative 12, divided by negative 2. Negative 12 divided by negative 2 is positive 6. So this will be our answer. In example number 8, we have limit of 4 raised to x minus 1 all over 2 raised to x minus 1 as x approaches 0. So if we are going to substitute directly the value of x, this will give us 4 raised to 0 minus 1 over 2 raised to 0 minus 1. 4 raised to 0 is 1 minus 1 over 2 raised to 0 is also 1 minus 1 and this will give us 0 over 0 or indeterminate. So what are we going to do in order for us to find the value of the given limit? So to simplify this one, let us write as limit x approaches 0. And as you can see, 4 raised to x minus 1 can be written in the sum and difference of two squares. And that is 2 raised to x plus 1 times the quantity 2 raised to x minus 1 all over 2 raised to x minus 1. So if you're going to multiply 2 raised to x plus 1 and 2 raised to x minus 1, it will give us 4 raised to x minus 1. And from this point, we can cancel 2 raised to x minus 1 on the numerator and on the denominator. So this will give us limit of 2 raised to x plus 1, x approaches 0. And from this point, we can simply substitute the value, the value of x, which is 0. So this is 2 raised to 0 plus 1. This will give us 2 raised to 0 is 1 plus 1, and that is 2. So this will be our answer. For example number 9, limit of 3 times quantity 4 raised to 5x plus 3 minus 5 as x approaches 2 over 5. So to simplify this one, let us substitute the value of x. Let us have 3 times the quantity 4 raised to 5 times the value of x which is 2 over 5 plus 3 and then minus 5 and to simplify let us have 3 times quantity 4 so we can cancel 5 this will give us 2 plus 3 minus 5 so let us write 3 times quantity 4 raised to 2 plus 3, that is 5, minus 5. And let us have 3. 4 raised to 5, that is 4, multiply 5 times to itself, and that is 1024, minus 5. And to simplify this one, 3 multiplied by 1024, this will give us 3072, minus 5, and that is 3067. So this will be our answer. In example number 10, we have limit of 2 third times quantity 3 over 2 raised to 8 minus 5x plus 1 as x approaches to 4 over 5. So to simplify this one, let us simply substitute the value of x. Let us have 2 third times the quantity 3 over 2 raised to 8 minus 5 times the value of x, which is 4 over 5, plus 1. And to simplify, let us have 2 third, let us copy 3 over 2, raised to 8, and we can cancel 5. This will give us 4 plus 1. And let us have 2 third times quantity 3 over 2, raised to 8 minus 4, that is 4, plus 1. And to simplify this one, let us distribute 4 on the numerator and denominator. So this will give us 2 third times quantity 3 raised to 4 over 2 raised to 4 plus 1. And then let us write 2 third, 3 raised to 4, that is 81 and 2 raised to 4 that is 16 plus 1 
and 81 and 3 can be written in simplest form because they are divisible by 3. So 81 becomes 27 and 3 becomes 1. Also, 2 and 16 are divisible by 2. So 2 becomes 1 and 16 becomes 8. So this will give us 27 over 8 plus 1. So to simplify this one, let us write 8 on the denominator. Let us write 27 and 8 times 1, that is 8. And that is 27 plus 8 is 35 over 8. So you can write your answer as 35 over 8. Or if you want to divide, this will give us 4.375. So this will be our answer.